I'm your host, Sitandegile Mshanga. In Zimbabwe, the Atlantic Council of Women for Prosperity Center began its two-day workshop in Arare Thursday, aimed at empowering women in business through discussing policy, monetary, fiscal, and other business-related issues. The workshop, organized by U.S.-based Atlantic Council for Freedom and Prosperity Center and West Probe, drew participation from business operators nationwide and embassies in Zimbabwe. Business development strategist Yvonne Chiwara, who participated in the workshop, explains opportunities and challenges encountered by women in businesses. Basically, I help businesses build long-term solutions for sustainability over a long-term period of time. So one of the reasons I realized being based in Bloyo and from Bulawayo born and bred, is we have so many disparities from generation to business generation disparities. I will have an abasma desire. Nani Sicheli sword or Ogulawayo, I will have to offer no suguma, lad. So now one would say, nothing is saying that Yipi solution and I dinner and I took this at Ibulawayo. When that it attracted investment, it attracted just a, a healthy economy. I'm a business, a sumi, until I was with Sileleka, Sile land reform. So, you know, I lay in the industry, my name, a puma wobula, as chia, sipongova. So, I mean, I'm seven to one more wooding, I would to sing a manjan, sing a wheel and jan, which will be a bed basket of flower of the city that it was, the industrial hub that it was. So creating a real estate solution was one of them was to use the former Ascot race course as a real estate hub, but a real estate hub that takes us to industry 5.0. Turning a small place that we then retrofit into the rest of the city of Bulawayo for growth. That was uh, business development strategist Yvonne Chiwara speaking to VOA reporter Tobias Mutzingwa. Vimbai Tsingirai, a crocodile farmer, explains challenges faced by young women in business. Mazimaya Kawanda, Kubane Zuru Shatakatanga Conference, Nyaya Wombea by Taura Nyaya Funding, Kuana Shkwani Siro, Shibutua Gone Kungeva Ripo, Pakwan Saku, maintain and sustain my businesses. Mumwe E, Anugunanga, one a capital tanga business, but Pashawa Nema, operational course, Pashada Badarwa Vashandi, Pashada Kungepane transport, Pashada Kungepane logistics from point A to point B, Panish or Dog at Zirisa. Asinya Wombea and Torondek. Fita Shakawanda from um, my funding opportunities at Akaguna Kud when we were told Kutishanyo Kosha would sing a trip of Pongan Yukta network because my networking more more drum on Guna Kono, the next person and Guna Kuyam Putsa and Oguna Kanaku Kupo link re to the next level. Saka, this has been very fruitful. In I am one of the winners. Wakazi Ten, Wakasarutwa, na Mrs. Sharp, Mrs. Joanna Sharp, na Mr. Ken Sharp, who are going to be mentored. Singe Tripo Paku, Zizizwa, Nema Global Leaders, like very, very important international women who are very powerful, who have enough experience. Vachange Vashti Gaida, Mu Business Mago, Itaso, Itaso, Itaso. That was uh, Fimbai Tsingrai, a farmer. Meanwhile, European Union Ambassador to Zimbabwe, Jobs uh, Kirchman, says the EU is prepared to support local women. As I was saying today, women empowerment, I think, is uh, something where Zimbabwe and the government has invested a lot. And uh, we as European Union, we would like to stand ready as a partner to support that. I think uh, women empowerment ranges from uh, simply allow a woman to start a business, empower her also in, uh, in taking decisions and being an active partner in social, economic and polit- political life. And, uh, and we as European Union, together with the EU member states as Team Europe, 
we are making available 250 million euros, a bit more in dollars, that's some, to, to help to make gender equality but women empowerment a reality. And we have seen today that uh, many women are still struggling. And sometimes I, I also tell women, you have to be courageous. Men are much more courageous. They start businesses without having thought so much about it. They take jobs without having thought so much about it. Women often think not twice, but ten times. And I think we also as men have to support their endeavor to start a business, to be a, to, to take up a job. We have to help them to have the courage to go ahead. And as European Union, I think we also stand ready to support that financially. That was EU Ambassador to Zimbabwe, Jobs Kirchman. And Finance Minister Mtuli Ngobe had this to say. So as government, we are aware that our processes can be bureaucratic. Accessing certain licenses can take time and even the cost. So, so what we are doing is we're putting in place a, a team to look into that cost of doing business in terms of licensing and we want to deal with this. We are aware that this is, this is an issue. As I say, a, a, my family is in business for a start, so I, even I experience it. There are no exceptions, by the way. If that you're a minister, doesn't mean that your cousin or wife can get a, a simple, you know, through pass. It doesn't work like that. You have to follow the, follow the steps and we know that these steps are onerous and they, they need to be easy. So, so, so there used to be the ease of doing business index, as you know, uh, from the, the World Bank and the IFC. That was discontinued, but the spirit must continue. So, as a government, we want to continue improving the environment for doing business. There were also concerns by young women that um, some sort of uh, political interference is seen sometimes. Your comment on this when they want to start uh, businesses. Oh, yes, what, what they raised was that in some of the projects there is fair political favoritism, if I can put it that way, that, uh, you know, uh, people are affiliated with one party or the other, then get favors. Uh, look, we do, as a government, we don't operate like that. We're a government for everybody. Everybody must have uh, access to opportunity equitably, and that's the, that, that's the spirit that, that, that we want to promote. Uh, uh, under the, the, for instance, the road construction program, uh, uh, the large companies who are awarded contracts have been empowering uh, women uh, contractors and they, they were able to show that as that evidence that's progress that, that's what we want and that empowerment should be right across the board and should be agnostic to political affiliation that was finance minister mtuli Nube speaking to voa reporter topaz mutsingwa in harare today we are discussing mental health awareness issues as the world commemorates world mental health day now to discuss our topic on mental health issues in depth we are joined by our guests, Ndombi Zoto Kumalo, Health Committee Chairperson in the Bulawayo City Council, who also counsels single women and widows on mental health. We also have Ziponge Zipondebele of uh, Patare Nkunjeni Men's Forum on Gender, and a queer based health expert who prefers to remain anonymous. We will start with uh, you, Ms. Kumalo. You counsel women and girls and uh, widows on mental health issues. How is the program progressing and why women do you feel that they are more vulnerable to mental health, uh, mental health challenges? Over to you. Um, the mental health program is going very well. It's been sort of different ways. And uh, we notice that um, women and girls are more affected by mental health issues by their counterparts, male counterparts. The key issues being uh, poverty, uh, workload, health, literacy. These are the issues which are making women more vulnerable to mental health problems than, than men. When we talk about health, we consider issues like HIV and AIDS. Um, this is affecting, this has affected a lot of women, especially girls from the ages of 15 due to sexual violence uh, within the families. We realize that of beautiful HIV and AIDS, we have had a number of often such uh, problems cause school dropout whereby girls are fall pregnant while they are still at school. Also the issues of gender based violence, um, issues of divorce, women are more affected uh, than men. So there are a lot of issues. Uh, since we are in a patriarchal society, even during uh, the upbringing, 
there are many attempted experiences which are fed by the gay child and they becomes a problem which is not said by any person up to the adulthood of that person. Even if she's married or she's working, all those childhood experiences will uh, keep on affecting me. And this is the cause of some of the mental issues. If I can say maybe something which, we, we, which might look a minor or not considered as something which is of paramount importance, the loss of virginity. Um, if you can make a survey, there are very few girls or women uh, who lost the virginity voluntarily. And if that person is grown up, that keeps uh, resurfacing in the mind. And uh, there is a need for counseling and addressing women and girls about uh, mental health so that we can manage to do away with the past. Yes, um, uh, thank you very much. Making okay. Oh, yes, yeah, we'll come back to you to continue. That was uh, very powerful there. You have heard that, Mr. Ndebele, uh, on how women are affected. As a men's organization, do you also find that um, men are also affected, are more affected by mental health issues? How does your forum assist and what issues uh, do they come up with as an onset to this uh, issue? Okay, thank you very much. Uh... I'm greeting everyone. Yeah, uh, the issue of mental health uh, is very true. Uh, women are, <coughs> are more affected, uh, as uh, she had uh, said, uh, a little bit is true. Uh, also, men, uh, if you look at men, they are also affected as well by mental health. Uh, the reason being, if you look at... <coughs> If you look at the men uh, in our society, the expectation by the society to these men uh, are the ones that uh, most of the time put him under uh, a lot of pressure. Uh, if you look at a man, maybe if you look at the, maybe the masculinity for being a man or the manhood, uh, a man is uh, expected to be uh, a breadwinner. A man is expected to support his family, support is expected to provide security to his family as anything to the, to the society. Uh, if you look at the, at the economic situation uh, in Zimbabwe that we are, we are in currently, uh, where men are failing to provide for their, for their family, where men are failing to provide for themselves, where uh, the economic situation is not very good, uh, and again, the, the issue of disaster, the drought, that is affecting our, our community. This is putting men at risk because they are now failing to provide for the families. Uh, if you look at these issues, uh, a, a man is called a man by providing for the family. Once he fails to provide for the family, uh, he's considered a useless man, he's not considered uh, a man. Again, uh, people look at, look down upon him. So all these issues, they weigh heavily upon men. And again, if you look at our situation again in Zimbabwe or even in Africa or world over, a man is expected to be someone who is very strong, someone who doesn't look for help, someone who always helps answers to everything. So this again is putting uh, men under a lot of pressure. That's why most of the time, you see men when they fail to get assistance or when they fail to do what they are supposed to be doing, they are affected by the mental health issues until they commit suicide or until they uh, involve into drugs and substance abuse or any other uh, dangerous behavior. Because this in the society is not open to offering men help and also men is socialized not to look for help because a man is not is, is socialized not to cry. A man must not cry. A man must always have solutions. A man must always have an answer to any challenge that he is facing, or the family is facing, or the society is facing. Once a man feels he is crying, uh, he will be taken as someone who is weak, who is taken as someone who is less of a man. So all these issues are, put, uh, are putting pressure into the men and affecting. Uh, they are mental well-being. Thank you so much. Do stay on the line. Now we turn to our health uh, expert, uh, 
in Guero Day, he was working in a hospital. Yes, uh, may you tell us uh, what's uh, going on there in, health, in hospitals? What's your advice to families who have um, relatives, who have children who are affected by mental health issues? Uh, thank you very much um, for that. Um, actually, my advice to parents who have children who are affected by mental illness is that they should not really uh, take it as a case or take it that maybe the children are being weak or children um, being naughty. Sometimes, it's not sometimes, children are also affected by the stressful situations around them. So it is our socialization which believes that um, if someone is mental health, it is a case or it's being bewitched or it's demonic or something. Uh, mental health is real. The mind also gets sick just like the body. So I am uh, actually giving the mantra is that when they see a child uh, having a problem like that, it is good for them to take their children to a hospital so that they are examined and you find, and they, you find out what the problem is. What could you call the cause the illness? Sometimes it is maybe the stressful situation at home. The child may only need counseling uh, without even needing to get medication. Or even the family itself needs to be counseled on how they live together. Or the community around also needs to be educated when the child gets sick so that the they won't even stress the family who is a mentally ill child. They yeah, okay. Thank you so much. And sorry it. for cutting you short. Gulabu uh, Abasanda, Ugusi Koma, Se Kotage Lapa, Mom Kushane Wengo, and Oguti Gambe, Unga Patanjan, Uguti, Gubelo, Gubel. Sasuela, who were footing with you to Wesen, Pilaka Konapo, Queronga, Tasasela, Namafi Chanel, or Lim Less Shon, Uguti Konangapo, is Bell Ungati ukulumende uh ula ulemfanelo as ning in as obuti abantu aba abakwa y singalo um kushani jalo labova sumela pezu. Yes shona. Um yes shona uh in that is rumente e ina zoshi gubati ravan kura pavanu in yezu tano se funga because she patara jiripo nishonga iripo we have a good discussion. We have a good discussion. We have a good discussion. We have a Ufungwa ipa kondo panike paripisa hiriwa. Iye boge siya bonga. Sasibu ya kuwege nko saza na kumalo. Unga strazise la ngolim lesi ndebele ukuti unga kwa isa uti na bantu basu kumela nina kala nguti basu kumela pezu nwenu kuti bebu ye mshanga nweni ye nulei kumbi hai litina liba bamba na manja kumbi liba faka enye nje ingu ndezi ukuti besugu na maficha ngoba <laughs> Ukimengele <laughs> Ivanangati 
libaxa isa litini lithi behamba ine sibhedlela kumbe yini elibaxa isayo njalo bamukela ine isixa iso zena Let's listen to the following election explainer on female voters in the U.S. Narrated in Debele by VOA Zimbabwe service reporter Taboka Ngube. Fazane bakangele logu zala indi maenkulu, guketo olu za kuchalo nyaga. Emi nyagene sanda kwe zula, begula besifazane aba nengi aba palisa uvota, njalo va vota uwe zula besilisa uketo la kuchu wa ngomu nyaga ka 2020. Loba hape nga vota ufanayo, ugu vota kwa besifazane kufeza usegelo lwelinye ibanda elikulu. Ugu sugela ngomu ka 1984, va nengi gula besilisa abesifazana aba vota ku Keto luka Mongameli inhlanganiso ye Center for Women in American Politics ithi kusukela ngomnyaka ka 1992 abesifazana aba vota abasekela kakhulu ibandla lama Democrats kule bandla lama Republicans not only do women turn out more than men but they live longer than men abesifazane aba vota bebanengi kula besilisa njalo baphila impilo ende okwenza bebebanengi ingcwethe qhubungu lama nani abantu William Frey oyenhlanganiso ya Brookings Institute wahlolisisa ukuba baza vota njani abesifazana ngomnyaka ka 2024 form Abesifazene abangayange makoli chini abavangeme ukuvote lama Republicans kuketo luka mongameli vaza kubabe pansi kwe slinga niso so nga machumi amane kuluini i 40%. Ngomnya kaka 2012 abesifazane laba abasebe nzayo baba pose inga nye yaba voti buonke. Ngomnya kaka 2012 abesifazane laba mshope abanga hambange makoli chini bafiga u 48%. Ogamanje bapansi 38%. Gusenja lolianda inani laba mshopa wafundi leo haba vame uvote lama Democrats. Bafiga guslinga niso songa machumi ama vili lantatu ya kuluini 23%. Guketo luga 2012. Ngomnya kaka 2024 vai slinga niso so figa pose ama chuma ama tatu 27%. Gulabo haba za vota. Loku lifana inani laba nsundu labo shobo lue hispanic haba za vota. Eza bele nlezi kukanya li kupuga inani labesifaza na bantlope abafundi leyo. Liesa inani labanga fundanga. Ngubani ongu ntisa kuketoza kanga abesifaza na banengi ukubaba mvotele. Abesifaza na venza ezi manga uketo la mami Thames kwa mnyaka 2022. Inengi labesilisa bavote la iba njalama Republicans. Goto wa abacha labesifaza na iba bavote langa iba njaleli uga ukangili loguba liza ngoba uguzwa ya uketo lolum. Abesifaza na bacha, venza umetigo mkulu unani udaba lwa malungelo uhukupaizi suluenza abacha banengi ba vote ngobu nengi babo. Goto wa utaba lolu lukataza gakulu abesifaza ne utabale mnyaga guzala e lula 15. Uma sinanzelele guba njalama demokrats ukanya engani uguvigela ukulumendo kululegileyo ukupaizi su ganyelo gunyo kambela na laloku guyata tegisa gakulu. 
kodwa kunengi okunye okwehlula abahlola ezokhetho ukuba bekuhlele kahle Abesifazane abafundileyo bavame ukuvota okwedlula abesifazane abangafundanga uma kukhona okuqathekileyo uyabona kunika abantu inchukunchu ukuba silo esifazane ukungenza ukuthi babe banengi abavotayo Abesifazane babe ingxenye yabavota ngokhetho luka Mongameli oluchitsha ngomnyaka ka 2020 nje ngehlala yenza ovote lwayo nguloyo oyabe elabantu abaningi abamvoteleyo ngobunengi babo ngomnyaka ka 2024 nanko lizizwele abesifazane baba ingxenye 50% yabavota kukhetho luka Mongameli ngomnyaka ka 2020 Nje ngihlala yenza ozanqoba kukhetho lomnyaka ka 2024 kumele abe labantu abanengi abavotayo njalo ivote abesifazane iqakathekile kulolu khetho that was an explainer on female voters in the US elections narrated in Debele by Itaboka Nube. Let's meet again uh, tomorrow. We've come to the end of our show saying goodbye. I'm Sitandegile Mshanga here in Washington, D.C.